गुड मॉर्निंग ग्रेड फाइव वेलकम टू द इंग्लिश क्लास चिल्ड्रन लास्ट टाइम वी हैड डन पंक्चुएशन रिमेंबर यस वी हैड डन दिस पंक्चुएटिंग सेंटेंसेस दैट्स ऑन पेज टेन ओके Now for your homework, I had given you this A that was one to five. Now many few children have submitted their homework. Children, please try to complete your homework and send it once you are done. Okay. Now today I am. We are going to discuss the same. That's on page ten, capital A. so we are going to discuss the answers of that exercise now what was the question children the question was copy the sentences end each one with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark right now the first one father went to the market on a donkey yes so what will i put over here very simple just a full stop okay children you are going to write this sentence and then you will this sentence you are going to copy from the textbook and then you will rewrite it again and then you put your full stop over there you can use the green uh, color pencil what we used to use last year okay now the second sentence What's the second sentence? I am going to be the fastest runner in the world. So, what's that, children? It's going to be an exclamation mark. When do we put an exclamation mark, children? When it is when you express surprise or when you are happy some strong emotion some strong feeling so here you see it is a strong feeling fastest okay so you will put an exclamation mark now we move to the third one okay how do you train to be a really fast runner now this we know there's a question over here i told you that day no children that wh words we had some wh words and then even this how so it's a direct question so what do i put after runner i need to put a question mark yes now let's go to the fourth one i could hardly breathe yes this is taken from the text so we know that this requires an exclamation mark because here it is a strong it expresses a strong emotion he is tired running and then he says i could hardly breathe so it's an exclamation mark okay exclamation marks when you want to express surprise happiness some type of emotions a strong feeling okay now the fifth one have been stung by a bee now children see this have and you see my tone it's an i am asking okay i am asking a question have you been stung by a bee so this two will have a question mark so is it clear children okay i hope most of you have will get this right now those who have not submitted please submit at the earliest okay children now just look at these words okay do goes and plays what words are these children do goes plays okay let me just put it in a sentence to make it simpler i do my work ravi goes to school he 
plays in the park. What words are these? Yes, they are verbs, action words. They are verbs, action verb. Now, this do, goes and plays. What type of tense are these? These are simple present. Simple present. Because it's happening now. Okay? Whatever action is, it is telling us of the present time. Okay? Action words are verb. words are verbs. Now, look at this. Look at these words, children. Went, left, painted. These are also verbs or action words. And what tense are these children? You can take a clue from here. Painted. Yes, this will be simple past. Simple past. Went, left, painted. That means the action is over. It is simple past. Now children, if I give you this word walk, okay? And I tell you to give me the past tense of this verb walk. What will you tell me? Very simple. You're going to say, ma'am, walked, walked, walked. So it's walked. You just put an ed. If it is bake, what will be the past tense? Do I put another e? No, I just add D. Baked. So these, there are some verbs which are very simple. Walk, walk, bake, bake, talk, talk. Right? Okay children, now what about these words? Just look at these words, okay? Sing. Bring, leave, run. I want you to give me the past tense of these verbs. <coughs> what will sing be? Sang. Bring will be what? Brought. Leave is? Leave is? Left. And run is? Ran. There are many such examples as begin, began, no, new, keep, kept. Now what are these verbs children? Come on recall. We have done all this children last year. What are these verbs? We are not adding D or we are not putting ED. What are these verbs? Yes, they are irregular verbs. Okay, they are irregular verbs. Now children, you must be thinking, why is man doing this when we are doing punctuations? I'm sure many of you have this doubt. Why is man doing this? I'll give you a reason, children. You know, the next, we have finished with capital A. Now, for capital B, what is it telling us here? Rewrite these statements as questions. So, now to rewrite these statements as questions, there are some verbs over here. Okay? 
so we need to know these verbs so i am just touching on the basics because you are familiar with this topic it is just that i am it's a review of your previous learning right children okay so children now let's look at these sentences what's the question rewrite these statements as questions so that means we have to change this statement and we have to make it a question a question sentence yesterday what we learned about sentences now read the first one ravi is a good singer so i need to change this into a question how would i change this into a question children you remember these uh, verbs is are were they are simple present forms of the be verbs right so we will write here is remember to begin with a capital letter is ravi a good singer now because i have to make this a question i put here a question mark is ravi a good singer now the second one the policeman caught the thief now children see the verb here it is caught okay now i have to make this a question so what will i write take a guess how will i make this into a question this is a statement and i want to make this into a question so how will i make this into a question think okay i'll give you a clue did now is it getting simple did the policeman now see my verb your caught children did the policeman caught the thief do we say that in english i have to change this to did the policeman catch simple present did the policeman catch the thief and what do i put here question mark yes now children read the third one come on think sumo wrestlers are the best in the world sumo wrestlers japanese wrestlers okay so they are the best in the world now here see we had singular is ravi was one now here it is plural sumo wrestlers so i begin with begin with r yes go ahead r sumo wrestlers the best in the world is it a question when i say this are sumo wrestlers the best in the world i am asking a question and what will come at the end of this children question mark right now the fourth one ali sold a cart full of onions see the verb children sold and what do i write over here how do i begin did yes look at the second one did it is similar the fourth and the second one did ali what will the sold be children now sell see my spelling did ali sell 
a cart full of onions i am asking a question and i put the question mark now the fifth one i am a responsible person i want to make this a question this is a statement now i want to make this a question so how will i write this see the verb over here am you remember children linking verbs am is the present form of be verbs we have done this all last year i am a responsible person so what do i say am yes am i a responsible person i am asking a question am i a responsible person and then i put this question mark now children come to your text here question b there are five sentences now these sentence children what i did here they are similar to this okay if you see the examples which i have given they are very close so what i want you to do is you will do this in your notebook now what you do no children is you write the answers in pencil like last year how we used to do okay so then if it is wrong you can erase it and then when we discuss you can write it in pen so please write this in your notebook you have your english notebook so write in this see the first one solomon is a very good runner it is similar to this ravi is a good singer okay i have given you a clue try doing it yourself this is individual work so try doing it yourself and we will always discuss it so that's all children from my side thank you for your participation